good book. I love that moment, that aha moment where I get something that I never really thought about or maybe it's something I thought about but I've been able to rethink. That's the best part. I love it if I can get it on every three or four pages. You don't have to read the entire book to get it. In my opinion, my favorite author who gives me that moment the most often is Malcolm Gladwell. You know, you may have read Gladwell for school. You might have been in a business where you're encouraged to read him. And I just think that his information and the stories he tells are the absolute best at helping us rethink something we thought we already knew. You might know him by books like Blink or Tipping Point or Outliers, but today I want to talk about a book called David and Goliath. This is a book that came out a few years ago that we have in our collection because it deals even actually does have a chapter on the biblical story of David and Goliath that helps us rethink some of the things that we thought we knew. He asks questions like, is it a good idea to go to the best college that accepts you? Uh, are there certain skills that people with dyslexia have that other people may not have? Are small class sizes always a good thing? And if you're coaching a terrible youth basketball team, should you just automatically full court press? And these are things that he's able to bring a lot of other insights into to help us rethink things we may have thought we already knew. And there's just this incredible aha moment you get with what he brings. I love Gladwell's sense of storytelling. I love his sense of data. And I love the way he's always willing to go deeper. You might know of his Revisionist History podcast where he tells common stories with, with people that we've often heard of but uncovers a little bit that really challenges us. I think that's really something he brings that's strong. So I would encourage you that if you have a Malcolm Gladwell book sitting on your nightstand that you haven't got into yet, go ahead and read it. Go to your public library, find something by Gladwell, or come here to our collection, and we do have some of his titles. Check it out, Malcolm Gladwell, one of my favorites. We'll see you next time.